Hello friends and greetings for the day. Welcome back to another tutorial on ISTQB Specialist Automotive Tester Certification. We are in chapter 3 that is testing in virtual environments and uh, we are still in the second part of it that is 3.2 testing in Zill test environments. As a part of this we are talking about different uh, test environments available under Zill and the third one which we are covering in today's tutorial is hardware in the loop which stands for Hill Test Environment. So from the past tutorial, we have understood what exactly SIL is and how exactly software in the loop can be added over the model, which you started with uh, as model in loop. So once you're done with SIL and you are successfully having a good attain output that, definitely the next environment is PIL, P-I-L, that is processor in loop, which is generally to, uh, here uh, in this type, you will put the controller model onto an embedded processor or probably F FPGA board and run a closed loop simulation with the simulated plant. So we will replace the controller subsystem with a processor in loop block, which will have a controller code running on the FPGA board. This step will help you identify the processor board is capable of running the developed control logic or not. If there are glitches, then you can go back to your previous stage that is SIL or MIL to uh, rectify them at any point of time. Once your plant model has been validated or verified using PIL, that is another environment, but for your kind information, the stage when you talk about PIL is not our uh, part of the syllabus. So in our syllabus, we don't have PIL. So please uh, don't worry about that. But just for a quick understanding, I thought of sharing that information with you, which is a um, processor in the loop. And uh, the next thing is now you can replace the plant model with the original hardware what exactly we're looking for. Say lab models and run a test. Let's say it is a DC motor, the example which we started considering, whose speed, speed controller is being designed, and then the controller is in a FPGA or processor, which is now interfaced to the DC motor by connecting the inputs and outputs, or look at the states at the right points of the sensors or transducers. As an added step, you can also have a simulated plant in a real-time PC before interfacing the actual hardware. For example, in SpeedGoat, where you will run the plant model in real-time but have proper analog or CAN communications between the plant and controller, which you will be using while interfacing with the plant hardware. Now, this step is what you call it as hill testing, which is hardware in the loop. So as you see the increment, you know, you started with model, then you got into software, then you have processor, and then you have your final hardware into the environment there. And the controller is typically in a production or board controller. So this will help you to identify issues related to the communication channels, for example, attenuation and delay which are introduced by an analog channel and can make the controller unstable if they are not captured, captured as part of the simulation. This step is typically done by uh, to test the safety critical applications like airbag deployments. Now here we understand what exactly uh, the overall hill concept is. Now let's see what exactly the syllabus has to cover from the point of SIL environment. If the test environment, so here we are talking about the structure of a uh, uh, hill test environment. If the test item is available as a prototype or if it is already completed, completely developed, the tester can use a hill test environment and uh, definitely to execute the test. The typical parts of hill test environment include a power supply to set differently a different supply voltages, a real-time capable computer for the environment model to run on, several real parts that are not implemented in the environment model so far, like compared to model or software in loop, a signal processing of signal type and signal amplitude, a fault iteration or insertion unit for the simulation of cable breaks and shots, a breakout box as an additional access interface in a cable harness, and a remaining bus simulation for the simulation of non-existing bus participants. So these are mainly the core elements of uh, hill test environment, which makes you to understand better, like slowly you proceed and then you have a hardware involved and then you simulate the same thing to see that how exactly it will behave in real time when it comes to the real time interfaces of such automotive parts. 
Additionally, here we are talking about the more detailed, of course, which is uh, to in relation to the application areas and boundary conditions of the hill test environment, which speaks from different point of view again. The access point in hill test environment are diverse. The tester must be aware that using the wrong access points to the test item can render the test result uselessly. Knowing the different access points and their connection in the hill test environment enables effective tests to be implemented, executed, and accessed. So when it comes to the tester, tester must understand the limitations and uh, kind of general risk and challenges which are involved in a hill environment to make use of it because not everything can be very precise if you just have to just deploy and start embedding the things and start using them and, and test your particular executions. Now, that's not going to be that simple as we have certain considerations to be taken into account when working with the hill test environments. The hill test environment is more complex than the previously mentioned environments like mill and sill due to the several parts, which is it's getting increased, right? You're getting more complex and more complicated as you proceed from mill to sill and sill to hill and so on. The tester must master this complexity to address his test task. The hill test environment can be used for component test, integration test, and system test. The objective is, among other things, to find functional and non-functional defects in the software and hardware. With the help of hill test environment, different test levels can be analyzed. If the test item is single electronic control unit, that is ECU, it is called as uh, the cold component is hill. If the test item is a combination of several ECUs, it is called a system hill. So component hill is just one particular CPU, sorry, ECU. And if you talk about the integrations of multiple ECUs put together, you call it as system hill. So yeah, you know, different levels can be addressed here. Just like component testing, integration testing, and system testing, and so on. So you may have your component hill environment or system hill environment. The tester uses the component hill to test functions of the control unit in the system hill. The focus is on the testing of the data exchange between the electronic control units and on the system test of the entire system. So of course, uh, you can meet different objectives by conducting different test levels as a part of the hill test environment. But of course, components will just limit to the component behavior from the specific point of view, but system will have a data exchange between the system and the entire you know, hill environment itself. In contrast to the previously mentioned uh, test environments like mill and cell, the simulation time in a hill test environment always run in real time kind of interface. So the reason for this is that the software is running on a real hardware and of course it will simulate the real behavior of the part and the component which you are trying to test there. Pausing or stopping is no longer possible because you are in a real-time environment. So this environment does not allow you to pause and uh, resume or stop at any point of time. So you can just continue. If you remember, if you talk about software in loop, you can pause your analyzer and look into the issues which you might have but here, it will not allow you to do that. Therefore, the test environment includes a real-time capable computer that is able to collect and serve all relevant signals within a predetermined period of time. So that's very, very important to understand that how exactly Hill meets your real-time expectations in order to um, fulfill the needs of the testing and at the same time give you that confidence that how exactly the system will be behaving in the real time. So. That's all from this particular tutorial team. As a part of this tutorial, finally, we have also covered Hill, where we have covered all of the uh, test environment as well. That is Mill, Sill, and Hill. The other two are our scope. So that's uh, going to be not considered in the examination. The second thing is, of course, uh, we have final comparison between the Zill environments put together. So stay tuned for that. That will be covering tomorrow. And... Uh, if you have anything else, feel free to comment below. I'll be always there to answer them. Till then, keep learning, keep exploring, keep understanding the context. Thanks for watching the video team and happy learning.